Okay, so tonight I'm gonna make something. I have kind of promised myself for a while that I was gonna start shop in, at the Dollar Tree and figure out a healthy way to eat there that was dirt cheap. Um, so tonight I think I made some pretty good progress. I got some, um, it's a pasta called gnocchi, G-N-O-C-C-I, and they're basically potato dumplings, flour and egg mixed into them. It's Italian, but they're dynamite. They were a dollar. I got a big bag of mixed vegetables for a dollar and some spaghetti sauce for a dollar. Now I'm gonna mix in a couple of things in here to make it a little bit better, but we'll end up with dinner for two for about three bucks, and it'll be a nice dinner, not some one you don't want. Here are the eat. items I picked up. So this is a large bag of gnocchis, a big old deal of frozen vegetables. I'm waiting for those to thaw, and some prego. And literally, this calm, it's like a, a non-dairy creamer is what I'm gonna use to make the sauce a little bit different. All right, so let's get started on this. So I've got a little bit of prego um, spaghetti sauce. And, um, and it's decent, it's, it's not too thin, and it's got some decent flavor. But what I'm gonna do is turn it into a tomato cream sauce by adding non-dairy cream to it. Now this is probably gonna be maybe four tablespoons, okay? We just mix this in, and magically, we're gonna have this sauce. And then once it's ready, I can make my gnocchis and I can get my vegetables going. Because uh, as soon as the gnocchis come out of the water and I strain them, we do want to toss them with some hot sauce at that point. So notice the color difference on this already. So we're turning into a cream sauce already. Or not cream, but tomato cream. And all this for three bucks. It's astounding. That's probably a little more than that because I'm going to use a salad dressing to, to spruce up the vegetables a little bit. All right, so there is our pasta sauce right there. I'm going to turn this down and we'll get started on these other items. Okay, so these are the frozen vegetables I got for a dollar. Basically what I need to do is add some water to them. We're going to boil them and then I'll spice them up from there. Okay, so this was already on. So all I'm going to do is add a little bit of water to it. And we'll get these to start steaming essentially. And then we flavor them from there. Now I want to try our sauce real quick to make sure it's good. Surprisingly delicious. Boom! Okay, so what I'm waiting for here is these to get the rest of the way um, thawed. We're pretty much there. I think it's time that I can pour this in. Now, this is a Mexican marinade called Mojo, and it's really citrusy, but it'd be a great flavoring for this. So I'm putting in maybe six tablespoons, but I'm just going to mix it in with the water. I mean, it's no big deal. It'll give it some really nice flavor. It'll feel fresh. And now, I think what we can do while that is cooking, we're going to turn that all the way up, is drop our potato gnocchi in our water over here. Now, generally, I've made this stuff from scratch for years in restaurants. The bag stuff is not bad. It's a little heavier than from scratch. When they boil, they're generally done. But that is not going to be the case with these. So we're going to let them boil. And then we're going to give them like 30 seconds up to the top of the water. So if the water is already boiling, you're looking at two to three minutes. Look at the back of the package. Now I'm just stirring these beautiful vegetables around. And my goal here is not to get you to eat healthy with something from Dollar Tree. It's to actually have something you want to eat and have it be inexpensive. And that seems to be the, the place to get the best deal on food, quite frankly. All right, so I'm going to hop off of here while this cooks a little longer, and this cooks, and I'll come back when this starts to float. Okay, a couple of interesting things. You can see that this is actually not boiling, but simmering, steaming really well, so I'm happy with that. All of these have thawed, so we're totally good. Ordinarily, you just leave this in your refrigerator, and you'd be ready to go um, all day. Oh, Flavor's good. Okay, our gnocchi have raised to the top, so now we're going to count to 30. Have a look. Can you see them at the top there? It's one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, and so on. I'm going to turn everything off now because we're getting to the point where we're going to serve. About 10 more seconds here, and I am going to um, empty these out. 
There we go, over to the strainer. And there are your strained gnocchis. They go right over here into the pan. Sauce goes in there with them. Our fake uh, tomato cream. All right, these are ready to go. So let's figure out how we're gonna plate that. Okay. So probably first things first is let's do the gnocchis, okay? We want sauce on there, but we don't want too much sauce on there. And these things are dense, so I'm telling you, I've got minimum two full orders here. All right, got that going for us. And let me see if I can find a bigger, bigger spoon here. Get a few of these. Look, what we're looking for with vegetables is color. Better the color, better for you. All right. Now, the only thing I could recommend here is if you wanted to throw a little bit of extra Parmesan or something like that on there. I mean, honest to God, that's a restaurant quality meal for three, three dollars, literally. Let me get that off of there. I'll check it out here in a second. Hope you learned something today. Here's the meal we made, and obviously more than enough for at least one other person. All right, let's give this stuff a try. I'm having a couple more of those. Okay, that's nice. And I know it seems weird, but the non-dairy creamer really does work. See our dollar veg are. Really lemon lime. I mean, it's got some popping flavor, which is good with the heavier sauce. Try this one. It's excellent.